In this video, we're going to create a simple email merge using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel will hold our data, so the names of the people that we're going to email along with their information, their email address, and any other specific messaging you might want to send in, a, in an email that's tailored and customized to a single person. The Word document will act as our email message itself, the text within the email, and in this case I've just saved them both to the desktop to be easily accessible here. So we'll start by creating the data. So we want to create our fields and we're going to just use two fields in this case, a person's first name and their email address. some additional information so I'll just paste that in so a few people's first names and their email address so we can see how this is going to look I also will format the cells the field headings just so I can designate those a little more clearly now I save this I move into Word and this is where I create my email message So I'm going to paste my text from my message. I create that. I save it. But in this case, I'm not, I don't, there's going to be multiple people. So I'm going to remove the first name in my message. I also want to say thank you and then the person's first name in the end of the message. Now, if you notice on the top menu bar, there's a field called mailings. So we hit mailings and we go to select recipient or we can start the process of just start email, email messages. Then it'll ask us to create the, the select the, the recipient for the message. So I use an existing list. I know it's on my desktop here. It's merge data. I open that. It's the first sheet in the Excel spreadsheet. As you can see here, there's just one sheet. But if you had multiple sheets, you could it would access that here. Now I can either use a, a, a formal greeting line, and there's a number of different ways I can format this. In this case, I, I just like to drop in a single merge field. It's pretty simple to do it this way. So I just put in first. I then put it again here, just before the period. Insert first name again. And that's it. Now the next thing is I want to review the data. So I just hit preview results. You can see Jim comes across here as the first name. Then if I forward through, you can see Bob is the next, and Jenny is the next. You can skip forward to the very beginning or the end of all of your records to see. And the final step is, well, we save it first, and the final step is to actually run the merge. So when you hit send email messages, this is what's now gonna connect it to Microsoft Outlook. So it's making sure we have the right field for the email address. We type a subject line. And then you can select either all of the records in your database, in your Excel spreadsheet, the current record, or a range of records. In this case, we'll just send all. And that's it. You hit send, and it'll send out through your, your Microsoft Outlook application. I hope this was helpful, and happy email merging. Thank you.